Hey, if you're a stationery designer, this video is for you. I'm gonna go over my favorite custom keyboard shortcuts that I set up in Illustrator. I have another video showing you my favorite uh, standard ones that come with Illustrator, but I've added a little customization that I think will be extra handy just for stationery designers. So first and foremost, how do you do this? You go up to edit, you click keyboard shortcuts, and you'll go into the different commands that you want. For instance, object, align, and we're going to click this horizontal align center. We're going to do control L. It's telling us it was already on horizontal align left because I just did that as an example. So that's completely fine with me. This is what I prefer it to be. And I will let that overwrite. Now, every time I want to align horizontal center, I'll just select everything, press control L, and it will do a horizontal center align. So that's going to be our first one that I tell you about. I also have the vertical center align, which is right next to it. Control K, vertical center align. One thing about this is it'll typically default to whichever align it's going to default to in the first place. So um, if you have one thing selected, it's probably going to default to artboard. So command K. So control or command on a Mac K, control or command L, center, vertical, and horizontal. If you have lots of things selected, it's going to usually default to align to selection. And there's not really a way to change that in the shortcut. So I wish you could a little bit because I'm almost always <laughs> aligning to the artboard. But still, this is really, really helpful for me. So I put those next to each other, control L and K, because they are related. Another couple that I use a lot are when it comes to glyphs. If I want to change um, some glyphs to something different, like in this font, there's a bunch of different T's. This is my font, by the way, that I made in case you like it. <laughs> and I always open the glyphs panel, which I can do right over here, but I can also do that just by clicking Control H and it will automatically go ahead and open that glyphs panel for me. Really helpful. I also convert from area type to point type a lot. So area type is where you might um, draw a box and your text is going to fill up that box. And then point type is where you're going to type something and the box size is going to be determined uh, based on what you type. Very basic explanation. And you can see the difference is this white bubble versus this blue bubble. And then you can click that bubble to transfer that text box from area to point type. But I went ahead and made control Y to do that for me. You can see it's kind of, oh, it's actually moving a little bit as I, <laughs> as I convert that. So I use control Y for that. Okay, I have three more custom ones, but real quick, I wanna show you three standard ones that I just wanna make sure you know about. So typically you have to press control or function to use a lot of these, but some of the standard ones just use a single letter with an enter. So if you do S enter, you're just gonna get your scale dialog box. R enter will give you your rotate dialog box and O enter will give you your reflection dialog box. So those are some that I use a lot that some people don't know about. Now, three more custom ones that I did have to set. If you go into the select panel, you can actually select like same appearance, same font family, same color, all text objects. Would select all the text objects because I'm often kind of changing fonts back and forth, changing colors of fonts. And you'll see we have these three objects, but we did not select the rectangle here. So that's control T for me. And then control U is kind of not the opposite, but a different one, which is select everything with the same color. So that selected this green text and also the green box, but not the black text. So that's going to select by color, which is a U. I like to think of that as because, you know, in Britain, they have the U in color. So I like to think of that as fancy color. Control U. And then lastly, on the same note, I changed this one to a different font family. Um, but Control I is going to select everything in the same font family. So it's kind of like selecting all of the text objects, but it's only going to select that particular font. Um, uh, this is especially helpful for invitation design because we're often working with like a cursive font and a print font or a display font and a more paragraph font. Uh, so you can select all of them at once. And I use that as control I. So these are all ones that I set up. You absolutely don't have to use like K, L, I, U, the exact same ones that I did. Something like control T absolutely makes sense to me for control. <laughs> all, um, select all text, control U, like I mentioned, <laughs> for color is going to be helpful in my brain. Um, I like to put the ones that are similar next to each other, like the alignment ones are K and L because they're right next to each other. And I often use those both um, in conjunction with each other. So lots of different options here. The main thing is that when you're editing it, if you 
you add a keystroke that's already used in some way, like if you do a uh, control C, obviously that's taken by copy and you don't necessarily want to do that because you are going to do copying a lot. But there's some things like control P, I never do control P for print. For some reason, I always click the print dialog box. So replacing that with something that's more useful to me might be a good idea. Um, but replacing control C and control V with something is never going to be a good idea because I copy and paste all the time. So just pay attention to what you're using, but you absolutely do not have to use uh, the same ones that I just mentioned. So check out that other video on all my favorite standard ones. If you're not used to using keystrokes, this is just one of the most powerful things about Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Creative Cloud in the first place. And I hope you'll stick around and watch more of our Adobe playlist. If you are interested in becoming a stationary designer, hi, I'm Lee. I teach that. Um, so I have a whole membership just for wedding invitation designers that I'll link in the description for you. Thanks for watching.